In this video, we will determine the LU decomposition for this 3x3 three three matrix. And when we solve this problem, I will do it using a shortcut method. So let's get started. So first, I will draw a table. Um, one side will be L, and the other would be U. With L, I'm going to have a 1 across, like this, and on the top right, we're going to have zeros. This is going to be L. These three numbers we need to determine. And now I'll do the U matrix. So I'm going to draw a box. And with the U matrix, it's going to be this, this, and this is going to be 0. So the first row won't change. So it's going to be 3, 0, 5. However, now I want a 0 to be here. In order to get this to be a 0, I need to modify this matrix. And when I do so, it's going to change this row, and it's also going to change this row. And I'll show you what I mean. And so I need to come up with a way when I add two rows to get this number to be 0. I can do that if I say negative 4 thirds R1 plus R2. And this is what this means. I will multiply the 3 by negative 4 thirds to get negative 4 plus R2. R2 is the second row. So negative 4 thirds times 3 plus 4 would give us 0. I will also need to do this for this number and this number. So negative 4 thirds times 0 plus negative 5. So negative 4 thirds times 0 is 0 plus negative 5. So we get negative 5. It doesn't change. Next, we'll do this number. So negative 4 thirds times 5 would be negative 20 over 3 plus R2, which is 1. So negative 20 over 3 plus 1 would give us negative 17 over 3. And this is where the trick comes into play. I now know this number. This number will be the opposite of negative 4 over 3. So it will be positive 4 over 3. And next, I will modify the last row. However, I'll just write what we have so far. 1, negative 2, negative 3. But I need to modify this to get a 0 for this number and a 0 for this number. So I'll do another one of these kind of things. So I can say that negative 1 third R1 plus R3. And that would give us a 0 for this. And so this is what we would get now. So 3, 0, 5 remains the same. 0, negative 5, negative 17 over 3 remains the same. And now, negative one-third times R1. Negative one-third times three is negative one plus R3. Negative one plus one would give us zero. Next, I need to do this number. So negative one-third times zero is zero plus R3. R3 is negative two, so it remains negative two. Lastly, negative one-third times five is negative five over three plus r3, which is negative 3. So negative 5 over 3 minus 3 is going to give us negative 14 over 3. And again, another rule. This is negative 1 third, so this right here becomes 1 third. And now we have one more. We need to make this to become 0. Same idea. And so if you want, you can pause the video here and try to get this to become 0. And so let's do that. So same idea. Um, I can say that negative 2 over 5 r2 plus r3. This would give us um, the top row remains the same. I'm not changing that. The second row remains the same. I'm not changing that either. And the third row changes. So negative 2 over 5 r2. Negative 2 over 5 times 0 plus r3, which is also 0. So it remains 0 negative 2 over 5 times negative 5 would give us positive 2 plus r3 which is negative 2 so 2 minus 2 would give us 0 finally negative 2 over 5 times negative 17 over 3 plus negative 14 over 3 would give us negative 12 over 5 and so we have a negative 2 over 5 and so this right here is going to be positive 2 over 5 this is L and this is U. So let me write down what we finally have. A is equal to L times U. 
So we have A is equal to, this right here is L, one, zero, zero, four over three, one, zero, one third, two fifth, and one. Let me write that down. So this right here is L, one, zero, zero, four over three, one, zero, one third, two fifths, and one. This right here is L, and our U is this. So three, zero, five, zero, negative five, negative 17 over three, zero, zero, negative 12 over five. This right here is U. So the L, top right corner, has zero. The U, bottom left corner, has zero. This right here is the final answer. And we can check. It's very important that this is L and that this is U. If you flip these two together, you would not get the right answer. And I'll show you what I mean. And so I will check this answer using my TI Inspire CX cos. So I'm gonna write L is defined as the matrix. Um, we have a three by three matrix. And we had for L, it was one, zero, 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 uh, one, one, uh, two divided by five, one divided by three and four divided by three hit enter and our u was defined as the matrix um, three by three we had three zero five zero negative five negative 17 over three zero zero negative 12 over five hit enter so now I will write A is equal to L times U, which is what we wrote. If I hit enter, I get three, zero, five, four, negative five, one, one, negative two, negative three. This looks familiar. And you know why this looks familiar? Because this is what we originally had. However, if I wrote that A is equal to U times L, I would get a completely different answer. And so this is wrong. And so this is a nice method to get the LU decomposition for a three by three matrix. And that's all we need to do for this problem.